Will I finally come to the conclusion on my senior tribute bill? The only thing on my mind is making sure I finish this bill strong. It's been a great journey. Now I'm just taking care of that iconic grill. That's gloss white paint by Testers. And I blacked out that grill using regular craft paint. Let's turn signal amber I'm using. And you know I gotta bring out the Duraclear to add that glass. And you can add it on a little heavy because when it dries, it shrinks. Put that to the side, let it dry. And now we're gonna take care of the iconic chassis. I'll be working on my front suspension first. And this also contains my motor mounts. Paint my boots in black. Great motor mounts. And my engine drop right on the motor mounts. Be patient, you don't want to break anything. And that looks outstanding. Now I'm breaking out my detail kit. I got some parts by Parks. We're gonna take care of that radiator. And that is the factory radiator. But well, this is a custom hose I got on my parts by Parks. And shouts out to Dan the man from 60's Rule. He came up with this idea to use these crimp tubes that you can find in any jewelry department at a hobby store. I found these at Michael's. They come in several sizes. These are what I'm gonna be using for my clamps. And I found the perfect size. Well, check that out. Like it was designed to be a motor car part. Now I had to remove my transmission to get it on the chassis, but it was no problem. Once I got the engine in and put the transmission on the other side, it lined up perfectly. The engine is top heavy. Put in my bottom holes. Now I'm taking care of my brake disc and adding my calibers. The letters are raised enough, but I can highlight the brim balls on here. Highly detailed parts. Look at that. And I also took care of those brake discs with that dark steel by Bear. And I used red paint to take care of the calibers. Now it's time to get them installed on this front suspension. Pretty simple. And 
Then it's time for the shocks. And as you can see, I've already installed my airbags as well. Now it's time to take care of that glass using my Mod Podge. Got to use my extreme power here at the very top. That glass didn't want to stay in there. Required a heavy duty glue. Turned out cool because that glue is at the very top. I didn't have to worry about any hazing of the glass. This regular black paint I'm using, craft paint. Grill turned out outstanding. I got my grill installed. The main thing was making sure it was flush with the body. Check out the interior for one last time. At least a good look at it. The cab went on without a hitch. Next time, install the wheels on the front. I'm taking care of the driver's side first. Now it's time for the passion to side. And these wheels line up perfectly. Got that battery out of another kit. The one that came in the kit was too small and it was already attached to that firewall I cut out. That's a decal I got from the stash. That battery is fully wired, positive and negative, and that master cylinder. Don't forget the reserve tank. Front taken care of, now it's time for the rear. Got that bed installed. Now it's time to take care of the rear suspension. It's a little short, but I got a trick for that. That's my exhaust I'm working on. I'm painting the head to tails. Now it's time to install the exhaust. This is an incredible exhaust system that Clint provided. Then that part is for my stash to connect that drive shaft. There's our mufflers.
I decided to add that fuel cell up under the truck. And it's time for the real wheels. If you can remember, I had to cut off the brackets to hold the other side of the airbags. So I had to customize a little bit here. Looks like it came that way. Add on the rear bumper. Putting that tailgate together. Now, for some reason, the tailgates are always tricky for me. This one gave me a little bit of issues. That stoplight red by testers. backup lights now I got a gap on that right side I gotta fix and this how I fixed it I added some chain to it on both sides and glue that away from the light and I added some putty right here now this is that putty that I ordered from fire scale modeler this is probably some of the best putty I've ever used and it dries super fast that's it in the tube use it to mill black paint paint over it it filled in that gap perfectly and really really smooth I'm telling you some of the best putty I've ever used now it's time for us to add our badging all these great decals that came in the kit Took care of the other side. Now I'm adding that Chevy emblem. Use a simple gold marker to fill it in. Now it's time for the senior badges. Really cool. Kiss my ass badge. One for the bed. Now it's time for the air ride suspension. That's one of my tanks. My battery, wire, the compressor. And the controller.
I love the way that turned out. Adding the gas cap. There goes our mirrors. On both sides. And I got this cool Chevy front license plate from my stash box. And there's our senior license plate for the back. Kentucky, of course. And there she goes. The 1972 Chevy pickup truck. The Senior Tribute Bill Special Edition. Outstanding bill. I wouldn't take anything from it. Turned out fantastic. There's nowhere in the world I could have had this custom truck turn out the way it did without the great parts provided by Clint at Blue Collar Scale Customs. Thank you again, Clint. Salute to you. I appreciate it, brother. Shouts out to Ajax at Rattle Can Shenanigans for providing the incredible rims. And shouts out to Manny and Manny Scale Molly for providing that transmission. I really hate to see this build done, but it was time to get it finished. And this is our final salute to our good friend, Terry, AK Senior. Godspeed to you. Long live Terry. <laughs>